Hello everyone, thank you for checking out this video. You are with Coach Jordan from Territory Academy. Right now, we are going to be solving this question together. For this lesson, we will be repeatedly using completing the square to try and resolve all your respective square roots over here. And we want to try and work from the innermost square root towards outside. So let's take a look. So let us first focus on this expression over here. All right, 19 minus 2 root 18. We want to try and use one of our identities that we already know to make this into a form that's a square. So given that you have a negative sign over here, we are more or less going to be using this form over here. a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. All right? So you should be able to see that by comparing your terms, a squared plus b squared is probably going to be 19, and negative 2ab is going to be negative 2 root 18. So let's keep that in mind. a squared plus b squared is 19, and therefore ab would be equal to root 18. So a simple way to start considering your individual values for a and b would be to see that root 18, since it is written as a product of a and b, it could be root 1 times root 18, it could be root 2 times root 9, or even root 3 times root 6. So all, if, all of these three values are technically valid, but when we start con to consider the above equation, the sum of your squares must be equal to 19. And therefore, it should be obvious that this is the only possible case where your sum is going to be 19. Alright? So therefore, we will be able to write this as root 18 minus 1 whole thing squared. Because the form of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is essentially equals to a minus b whole thing squared. Alright? So therefore, we have resolved our first square root. So now, let's look at what our expression looks like after this. I'll now have the big square root of 8 minus root 18. Now that we have resolved this, this will be minus root 18 minus 1. So this will be the square root of 8 minus minus 1, which is 8 plus 1. So in fact, I could write 9 minus 2 square roots of 18, just like this, okay? So yet again, we want to try and use our identity, and seeing as the negative sign is still there, we are still going to be using our form of a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, all right? Since this is a minus b squared expanded. So again, this time, a squared plus b squared is equals to 9 over here, whereas ab is still going to be equals to root 18. So again, let us list down those possible products. All right, and we should have three sets as mentioned earlier. This time, we want the sum of our squares a squared plus b squared to be equals to 9. Keeping that in mind, we should see that root 3 and root 6 are my only possible options. All right, and therefore, this can be rewritten as root 6 minus root 3, whole thing squared. And therefore, with the square and the square root outside, I can get rid of both and simply say that the root of 6 minus the root of 3 is going to be my answer. Okay? So just to recap, every time we see more than one square root within itself, aka a compound quadratic third question, we usually want to try and work from inside out. Okay, And observing each of these expressions, we can easily see, for example, that 18, since it is a product of 18 and 1, and the sum of these two gives me 19, then we know that this is probably going to be a form that can be factorized into a square as shown over here. And then once we have resolved that, we now have one more square root to resolve over here, the overarching square root. This time, instead of 19, we now have 9, so we're going to have to find a separate pair of values that will give us 18 as a product. So the one that should come to mind should be 3 and 6, because root 3 squared plus root 6 squared will give me a value of 9, which would equal to your 9 over here. 
Therefore, it can be factorized into the form root 6 minus root 3 whole thing squared. We have completed this lesson. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson. Goodbye and see you again in another lesson. If you would like to learn more from these tutorials, please smash that like and subscribe button.